fire on the Far East side that has left two people critically injured. Our Chris Prophet is live there right now with an update on the ground. Chris. And we want to get right to Captain Rita Wright, who is with the Indianapolis Fire Department. And Captain, first we know that two people were injured. There was a 20-year-old man and a 13-year-old boy in that apartment. What do we know happened so far? Well, preliminarily, the uh, two people that were in the apartment that were injured told firefighters uh, before they were transported that they had smelled gas in the apartment um, either today or both today and yesterday. And... Um, decided to cook on the stove, thereby lighting the stove, and, and there was an explosion shortly thereafter. So at this point, go, going on their information, we do know that they did smell some gas. We're not really sure why. That's part of the investigation that will be ongoing. But again, we just want to caution everybody that if you do smell gas, report it, and please do not light any appliances that would use gas, and just evacuate the apartment. Let you know. I don't know that they had gotten a chance to report it to apartment management at that point, um, but we know that they did light the stove shortly after smelling gas in the apartment. And then the other thing is that uh, we're looking at the apartment unit right here, but there was also damage to several others. How widespread was this? This building houses eight units. Two of the units are um, completely structurally damaged. Um, the other units have some water and smoke damage. Uh, all eight units, the uh, occupants of those eight units will need to be uh, sheltered for the night. We're going to be working with the American Red Cross um, and IFD Victims Assistance to get them shelter. But two of the units, uh, total value of damage is about $200,000, are, are severely compromised. And unfortunately, we know that two people, and including a young boy, a 13-year-old uh, badly injured in this explosion of fire. What about any other injuries? Uh, we have not had any reports of any other injuries. There was a, a, a large volume of smoke out here. We had to move people back um, just because the smoke was so heavy and causing some breathing difficulties, but nobody here has reported any other issues. All right, Captain Rita Wright, thank you so much for being with us from the Indianapolis Fire Department. And, of course, this is at the Berkshire Square Apartments. It is in Cumberland on the far east side, and we will continue to update this situation for you. Unfortunately, a 20-year-old man and a 13-year-old boy that were in that apartment taken to the hospital in critical condition. Reporting live on the Far East Side in Cumberland, Chris Prophet, RTV6. Chris Pro